Okay, so again, uh, we're going to go over number two, how to use a solubility chart. And in the bottom of your worksheet, I have provided you, I have provided for you, I'm sorry, the solubility chart rules. Okay, so it's hard to focus them right here, but we're going to basically go over some of them. Okay, and right now I'm going to go over number one on how to do number one. Okay, so we have silver nitrate, AgNO3, plus potassium chloride, KCl. Okay, every soluble or net ionic equation, okay, uses the solubility rules and there will be a solid made most of the time, not all the time, okay? Now, when you do the double replacement reaction, you do have to do what I've taught you to do, join A with D on the product side and join C with B on the product side, okay? So if we do that, right, A with D, we get silver chloride, Okay, remember here, the charge of nitrate is minus one, charge of silver is plus one. If you don't know where I'm getting this, these charges, remember our little periodic table, right? Then have oxidation states at the top. These vary plus three, plus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, right? Those are the oxidation states. Now, silver happens to be a transition metal. <clears throat> so we got silver's charge based off of this polyatomic ion. Remember, these are called polyatomic ions, and this is in your chart that will be provided to you when you do this worksheet, okay? Look for those polyatomic ions. Now here, potassium has a charge of plus one, chlorine has a charge of minus one, okay? So we join silver and chlorine, and they balance out, <clears throat> and again, this is A, D, plus, okay, K, which has a charge of plus one, and nitrate, which has a charge of minus one, and this fulfills our double replacement, C and B, okay? Now, the thing here is, well, one of these two is going to be a solid, or at least that's what we want to find out. If you look at your solubility rules, again, on your handout, okay? Look at rule number three. Rule number three says, all salts of halides, okay, are soluble. Halides are the halogen group, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, etc. Okay? All salts of halides are soluble, meaning they dissolve in water, except for those of silver one, okay, copper one, lead two, and mercury one. Okay? This happens to be silver one. It is joined to a halide. This is therefore a solid. This is a precipitate. So this can no longer dissolve in water. This, however, can. Okay, but we should still double check. NO3 is a nitrate. And if you look at rule number two, it says all salts of nitrates, chlorates, and acetates are soluble. Okay? So nitrates anything that has a nitrate in it is soluble meaning it dissolves in water so how does this look okay i will go over again making a little solution and in this solution you have silver plus one and nitrate ions floating around okay just imagine a bunch of those floating around and we're joining them to a solution of potassium and chlorine ions, okay? And all of these are just floating around again. Here, again, I'll put another nitrate here. Remember, we don't know how many there are, but they're all floating around in water. This, again, gets put in a larger beaker because we're joining them, okay? And when you pour these two solutions into one, okay? What's going to happen is you're going to get a solid silver chloride, okay? So the silver chloride ions are going to join and clump up together at the bottom of this beaker. And then you're going to have potassium and nitrate ions floating around everywhere in the solution, okay? So silver chloride is your solid. This can no longer be disassociated once you join them together. That's what solubility products are about.